Jordan at the line with 7.44 to go in the third quarter. Bulls now by one. Michael had only two in the first quarter. Somehow, I knew that wouldn't last. He's averaging 39 a game in this series. Cartwright, Cartwright is really more spiky, way off the block. Grant Long. This is the three-point lane. Jackson runs it down. Michael Jordan. Michael said before the game he didn't worry about playing golf down here because he was going to go home first thing in the morning, indicating a sleep, obviously. In the first five minutes of the game, did you believe him? <laughs> I kept believing all along. Jordan made 12 of his last 15 shots. Chicago Bulls. The Bulls have a four-point lead with 6.54 to go in the first half. The Bulls have outscored Miami 14 to 5 in this quarter. Bulls shooting 75%, Miami 22%. Jordan has made five of six in the quarter. Uh, one thing's disturbing me, Bob. Grant Long takes that long three-point shot. He's six for 22 on the year. That's 27%. I don't know if you know it or not, but on the Chicago Bulls roster, they designate certain players who are non-three-point shooters, mainly their big guys or centers. And any time in the basketball game that they take a three-point shot, it's an automatic $50 fine whether they make it or miss it. Not a bad idea. I'm, I'm not so sure they ought not do that with Grant Long. 6.54 to go third quarter. Bulls on a 14-5 run in the quarter. Lead at 65 to 61. Miami looking emotionally exhausted. Remember, it's their first trip for the playoff ever. That's two on cycling. He fell number four on cycling his second. Let's take a look at the GMC scoreboard, and Phoenix has now caught San Antonio. Phoenix looking for a sweep down in the Alamo City. San Antonio had led most of the first half, and now Phoenix has come back. We'll, by the way, have the Portland-Los Angeles game coming up on TNT right after this one with Pete Van Heeren and Hubie Brown. Of course, San Antonio is without Rod Strickland, uh, without the great David Robinson. It makes it there very difficult, but... I believe it was enough pride for them to pull out one game in San Antonio. Brian Shaw. Bulls lead it by five. Steve Smith against Paxson. Rice all alone. Rebound from Grant Long. Out of bounds. Chicago ball that went off the foot of Grant Long. Well, that's a tough call. I don't know. There's four legs in there. I, I, could you tell? Could anyone tell? You have 15,000 people. He had to make a call just because he's talking it over. He maybe thought it went the other way. Let's see. A lot of legs, a lot of arms. I looked like it might have gone off the grant. There you go. Off long. Good call. Young official Derek Stafford making the call. And now a technical on Kevin Lockery. Called by Derek Stafford. Don't get another one, Kevin. Yeah, I think you got three officials here. They're all pretty cool heads. They're not going to give Kevin the, the second technical. They know it's the last playoff game, possibly. They know that this is an important debut for Kevin Lockery for this Miami Heat team. And these officials, at this point in the game, when these things happen, you'd, you'd be very much surprised at how much common sense they inject into the scenario. Michael Jordan will shoot the I think that's one of the things that makes a great is the amount of common sense that he has. Knowing the situation. Jordan has added that little twirl to his free throw, that little extra twirl. Three or four extra rotations. What got Kevin upset there is Stafford had originally said that it was. Now they've changed it back. 
the officials couldn't decide whose ball it was. They said it was Miami's, then Chicago's. That got Kevin upset, thus the technical. Trust now him. they've changed it back, and they give it to Miami after the technical. But Augusta, oh, wide open drive. Shaw didn't miss the slam dunk that time, as he had on a previous possession. Cost Kevin a point to find out, but it might have been worth it in the area of inspiration. If not perspiration. Ten to shoot for Chicago. Nice defensive play on the part of Grant Long as they're trying to get it into Horace Grant. Eight to shoot for Chicago. Heat trailing by four. 5.55 to go in the third quarter. At the half, Phoenix now has taken the lead over San Antonio. We'll keep you posted. Jordan misses the reverse, but he's fouled as he gets into the paint. It's on cycling. That's his third. Bob, that, Bob that's a very he's tough matchup third. for Brian Shaw. You know, he's about 6'3 and, and a half. Jordan's a legit 6'6 six, six, with, with an astronomical vertical. Great speed, great reputation, greatest player in the history of the game. you got to give Brian Shaw some help. The guy has been basically trying to guard Jordan by himself. No wonder he has runs of 12 to 15 shooting. You saw that our second game will be Portland and Los Angeles. The Lakers hoping to avoid a sweep if Portland defeats Los Angeles tonight. It will be the punctuation of a season of adversity and tragedy for the Los Angeles Lakers beginning with the retirement of Magic Johnson. It's been a tough, long year in Los Angeles. Here's that pressure from the Bulls. Get it in the hands of the forward. See, that's the problem. Now back to the guard. Just barely beat the 24 of the 10 second clock. They took nine seconds to get it across the line. 10 to shoot. Well, the guard shouldn't be so quick to give it back to the power forward. Uh, Grant Long should be bringing the ball up the floor. Grant Long missing from the perimeter. Rice with a rebound. Smith just pulls up and cans the three in the face. Oh, Michael what a Jordan. stare down between Smith and Jordan. Oh, I mean, you could have zeroed in and seen that. Eye to eye. Tooth to tooth. Nail to nail. And the rookie nails it. Jordan answers. That's a two. <laughs> Thirty six points for Michael Jordan with four fifty seven to go in the third quarter. Kind of snuck up on you didn't you that thirty six after he gets two in the first quarter. Rice is fouled by Pippen on the drive. Team foul situation. Heat with three. Bulls with one. Three point field goals. Miami six of twelve. Chicago's only taking one. Look at this. Watch the stare down. There it is. They got it. Look at lock. Look at this. This is gorgeous. You'll see these two guys for years to come in matchups that might be legendary in time. Pippen with the personal. That's his third. Rice had seven in the first quarter, and Pippen has basically shut him down since then. He has 12 in the game now. Glenn Rice out of Michigan says the highlight of his young life is the 89 national championship. And his favorite NBA city? Chicago. <laughs> I don't know if I want to announce that that's my favorite in the You're Oh, from the, what the heck, from it's the my book hometown. Of Potpourri and Ennui. Not Detroit, huh? <laughs> He's a Michigan guy. I like to tell you, you know. Potpourri and Ennui. Unbelievable. 68-71, heat down by three. 4.42 to go in the third quarter. Let's see if they give him some help this time. A little late, but not bad. Steve Smith, Cycley trailing along with Rice. Cycley with the offensive rebound. Shaw misses the three. That's 14 three-pointers attempted by Miami in this game. It's hard to live off the home run. It really is. In playoff time, it's even more difficult. Good interior pass to Horace Grant. I think this is an important trip for the Miami Heat. They have to take their time, make sure they get a good shot, not necessarily look for the home run. 
good rhythm jumper, something inside, maybe a chance to get to the free throw line. Seven to shoot. Tough bucket by Grant Long. He has 12. Well, that keeps the lead at three. I mean, 337 left in the quarter. They got to be feeling very good about themselves, this young Miami Heat team. Second personal on Rice. I wonder if Kevin Lockery likes this team. You know, you think that's not important, that the coach liked the team? It's absolutely vital. When you're going through 100 games a year at 10 or 12 exhibitions, 82 regular season games, nine games in uh, 14 days in seven cities, I'm sure it helps to like the team. Jordan got airborne, nowhere to go with the ball. It's Miami, possession, trailing by three. The big men for the Heat have to play a lot of minutes. Remember, Willie Burton is out. He's being treated for depression and is out on the injured list for the rest of the year, and it really hurts the depth for Miami. Well, Willie, if you're watching, we wish you well. Come on back. You're, you're going to be an exciting player in this league. Right now, Ronnie Sykley looks exhausted. He's had only one rebound in the entire third quarter. Two fouls on Bill Cartwright. Only Chicago's third team fouled in the quarter. Cycle can't get it to drop. Here comes Pippen. Settled for the fadeaway. Jordan defends well by Cycle, but hands it to full 1A. <laughs> Scotty Pippen. Pippen has 23. I still like the poise of Miami Heat. Nice pick and roll. <laughs> nice stereo. Yeah, stereo. Whoa, beautiful, beautiful pick and roll. Nice poise play, good read, slip the screen. Give him three. some help. Shaw got right in Jordan's face. The Heat with a chance to pull to the bed one or better. This is known as hanging around in the NBA. Wide open on the roll. Big board from Cycle. He draws the foul. Will go to the line. Let's look at the pick and roll again. This is beautiful. Well, this was so beautiful. It caused you and I to rave about it in unison. See how he slipped the screen. Never really set the screen. Nice finish inside. Gorgeous basketball. And a Bulls by three late in the third. Back to Miami in just a second. First, an update on Phoenix and San Antonio. They are at the half now. Tom Chambers back in the Phoenix lineup tonight. Ten first half points. Walks the tightrope around Terry Cummings. Phoenix looking for a sweep at Hemisphere with a 53 to 50 lead at the break. Now let's go back to Miami to Bob Neal and Dick Versace. Well, the same story here, Ernie Johnson. The Bulls are leading it by three with two way weight. 208, easy for me to say to go in the third quarter. And the Heat had led by five at the half. Chicago came out and, as Dick Versace pointed out, that very important first five minutes of the third quarter and got on a run 14 to 5, took the lead back. They've held it ever since. But Miami refused to fold up, and they're hanging right in here. And I think one of the things that's helping them is that they're getting to the offensive boards. Miami's got five offensive rebounds, Chicago only one. While at halftime, the Bulls had 11 offensive rebounds rebounds and Miami only two. Cycle has yet to score in this quarter had 10 at the half. You know there are things that you look for from your team that coaches refer to as hustle points. Offensive rebounds are included in that category of hustle points as are steals, deflections, dives on the floor, taking the charge, uh, good defensive plays things that don't show up necessarily in the stats. But offensive rebounding takes an awful lot of extra effort, and the Miami Heat right now is helping themselves with it. Now applying a little pressure themselves in the backcourt. Three near steals, but it was deflated. You know, prior to the game, I was, I was asked, do you think that the changing defenses and the extended defenses that the Miami Heat throws against Chicago, you know, are they effective? I don't think so. I think they give up easier shots when they extend their defense because this is a sage-wise championship team. Great shot by 
went right, right in the face of I Scotty mean, Pippen. It was just like a little lean back from deep. Bulls lead it by one, minute 24 to go in the third quarter. First playoff game in the history of the Miami Heat, and they are doing themselves proud against the defending world champions. Pippen on the hard drive, the kick out. Rice kept it alive for Steve Smith. Shaw draws the foul. He'll go to the line. I was talking about the extended defenses, the half-court traps. The full court presses, the different jump defenses that that uh, Kevin Lockery likes to use. Right now, you see Scotty Pippen penetrating. Watch the effort here on the boards. This works because you slide in and create more white shirts around the ball. Steve Smith did an excellent job. For a draft first personal foul. There is another reason that coaches go to these jump and extended defense. Sometimes it just makes your players hustle a little bit more. And if you're going to go to it for that reason against this team, I think that's valid. If you go to it because you think you're going to fool them, not going to happen. Final minute of the quarter, as you look at Brian Shaw shooting his free throw, Askins checks in along with Dembo Cole, and Steve Smith and Glenn Rice will get rest for the final minute of the third quarter. And the Heat has the lead by a point. With under There's a, a double to go. team, excuse me, Bob. The unpredictable trap. Kevin Lockley likes to throw this in. Jordan's no look pass deflected out of bounds. Seven on the shot clock for the Chicago Bulls. Coming up after tonight's doubleheader coverage, Fred Hickman will be joined by Glenn Doc Rivers live from Los Angeles on Inside the NBA. That's after our second game, which is Portland at Los Angeles. Seven to shoot for Chicago. Four, Jordan. Cycling on the rebound. Stolen by Jordan. Brian Shaw will be called for the foul. Cycli fell asleep on the pressure. Jordan and Pippen particularly are always patrolling the lanes. They remind me of German U-boats. Well, right when you think he isn't, he is. It's World War II all over. That's a good foul. Good NBA foul. Take away the shot. Put him on the free throw line. Your ship is sailing across the Atlantic, and you don't know. Jordan with the free throw. Scott Williams is going to come in for the final 35.9. And Horace Grant will sit down. He replaces Horace Grant. Michael Jordan, 19 points in the first half, 18 in the second. Look at this team. 8 for 14 and 6 for 10. Out. Bulls by one. A lot of parallels to these teams. Chicago only one and nine the first three years of their Michael Jordan era when they came in. Chicago, a franchise, uh, a new franchise, had a terrible time getting on track, as did Miami. Dembo Coles took the tough drive and took the hard foul. That was a good call by Jess Kersey. I thought uh, uh, Derek Stafford had a real good look at it. He was silent, but Jess Kersey, the veteran, picked up the foul. I believe these two teams, uh, in Michael's first year that they made the playoffs and the Heat's first year that they made the playoffs, uh, I believe they had identical 38 and 44 records. Bill Cartwright just picked up his third personal foul. Well, I don't believe that's a factor in the game at all. Uh, Phil Jackson just looked at the center position, figuring he has 18 fouls in there. You know, if you count, if you count Scott Williams and if you count uh, Will Perdue and Stacy King, who can play some center, and, and Bill Cartwright, technically you got four centers. I mean, even even Grant can go in there. Well, I think Bill Jackson does a masterful job of using his bench, much like a baseball team uses the bullpen. I mean, if he needs a left-hander, he goes to a left-hander. If he needs a short reliever, uh, you know, a long-distance reliever, a mid-reliever, and he gets good response from these guys. And because there's competition for that time, the performances that they give when they get out on, on the wood is usually excellent. The Heat has taken a one-point lead, 19.8 to go in the third quarter. Heck of a performance by the franchise that's only five years old. There's the trap again, the unpredictable trap. Now they'll try to slide back, match up, and stay in the man. 
getting the shot clock down. Four seconds. Three. Interrupt his last second shot. Alanov with the block. That'll end the third quarter. Look at Alanov. Bull 79. The happiest guy in America right now. Alanov made a contribution. Alan Ogg, UW from Alabama, Birmingham, slides over, makes a great block, and celebrates it. When Billy Cunningham talks to the Miami Heat as an owner, he talks from experience, an NBA title as a player, and others as a coach. Did you say anything to them about handling playoff pressure? Yeah, I said to some of the individuals, but when you get to this level, you have to experience it firsthand. And, uh, you know, the kids have playing pretty well so far. Another quarter to go, possibly another game or two. Back to Bob. Kevin Lockery told us, Craig Sager, that this is worth an extra two years playing in the league in terms of development for his young team to get even three games in the playoff. They're hoping to avoid a sweep here and get an extra game. That was Kevin Edwards from the corner for two. I'm surprised. Uh, Horace Grant had a very mild third quarter. He had one uh, point, uh, one rebound, uh, two points, one rebound. Uh, he's a big part of their defense. Uh, one of their better shot lockers. He's been extremely quiet this game. He's a part of the Doberman defense. And he's uh, kind of like an absent child today. Pippen has not been absent, that's for sure. Greg Hodges comes in to give Michael Jordan a rest with 11.34 to go in the game, and the Heat leading it by two. Well, I don't mean to be cute, but I really look for Chicago here to turn up the Heat defensively. That is how they make their living. I know Phil Jackson's not happy right now with the way things have gone. Yeah, give the Heat a lot of credit for playing with a lot of boys, putting in some threes, and hanging in this game. But it's Chicago's defense that eventually will shoot. Heat by one, they've led by as many as 17. That foul on Cliff Livingston of Chicago. From Miami Arena, 15,008 packed in here for the first playoff game in Miami Heat history. Right after this, out to the West Coast, Pete Van Weeren and Hubie Brown will have the Blazers and the Lakers. Blazers hoping to sweep Los Angeles out of the playoffs. Phoenix trying to do likewise with San Antonio tonight. Isolation on Kevin game. Edwards. Probably their strongest driver in the first few years of this franchise. That's how he made a living. That's how he stayed in the league. The DePaul product is not a terrific outside shooter, only an average outside shooter. And in this particular playoff series, is shooting less than 400% from the field. However, he is a strong finisher. He has the best leap of anybody on the team. And he is a guy that can cause some problems and get his team on the free throw line. You know, Bob, it's always great to get your team on the free throw line as early in the fourth quarter as you can. So when those fouls come, you got a chance to go to the line and shoot two every time. Bulls have two team fouls. Miami one, 11 05 to go in this ballgame. Heat by two. Pippen with a Williams pick. Pick and roll for Williams. Missed the lay in. Rebound Edwards. Nice pass to Long. Good block by Pippen. Should have dunked it. Should have gone right in and dunked it. Hodges buries the three. He's the NBA three-point champion. That surprises nobody. Now he makes his living. You got to know that that's what he likes to do. And you've got to go at him defensively. Baskins to Kevin Edwards. Pulls up for the jumper, but is fouled by Craig Hodges. Now that's one. Let him shoot it, because that's not his game. Well, quite honestly, you got a you got a terrible mismatch in there uh, for Chicago. Craig Hodges, yes, he can still hit some threes, but I mean, even his own own teammates call him Highway 14 defensively. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, if you want to if you want to get your team on the free throw line, and if you want to get some some points easily, and you want to score points with the clock stopped. You get an isolation against Craig Hodges, and you can take him to the basket, you know, all night long. 
This game is tied at 84. Let's talk about some significance here. Chicago's won the first two by 19 and 30 points, respectively. Miami trying to stay alive here in the playoffs, and they're tied with only 10 minutes to go in the game. This is from long range. Cole for the offside rebound. Well, let's see if they take advantage of this Hodges matchup. Rice backs off from Levingston. Throws up a brick. That's an ill-advised shot. You've got a terrific matchup you want to take advantage of. You've got to start planning these things on your way down. If you don't have an easy transition basket, then you want to... Yeah, and really, it's the responsibility of the, of the point guard or some leader out there to recognize that. And maybe Kevin's got it now. Let's see. Phoenix up by six in the third quarter, hoping to eliminate San Antonio tonight. Went inside the cycle. Powerful move. He missed the jam, but will go to the line. Ronnie Cycle has excellent footwork. He's he's been taught real well. Uh, Ron Rossi did a fine job, you know, these first few years here working with these guys, giving them, you know, the fundamentals. Uh, Kevin Lockery has done a, a, an excellent job working with him. Look inside here. He, oh, he got a little help there from the left elbow. Got, bought himself a little space. Scott Williams doesn't have the reputation. Picks up the foul. Take a look at the exhaustion on the face of Ronnie Cycli, and it's not just physical exhaustion, it's emotional exhaustion, playing the extra season, so to speak. And, and Kevin Lockery said he warned this young team, there are only two players on the team, Sun Gold and Brian Shaw, who have any playoff experience. He said, I warned them about the incredible difference in intensity, but as uh, Billy Cunningham said a few minutes ago, there's no way to talk about it, they have to experience it. And Billy really knows, and I think he's very proud of these young men, and well, he should be. Heat up by two. Pippen missed the jam. Good match up. You got a free one. Hodges drains the three. See, there's never an excuse from a defensive standpoint, even when there's a loose ball, that you don't hustle back and get matched up. You learn that in eighth grade, you carry it over into high school, college, and NBA. It's crucial. Bulls lead by one. Rice into cycle. He's got a mismatch down there with Pippen. It's a three-point opportunity for Ronnie Cycli. He has 16 points. Well, right now, the Miami Heat got a couple of good things working for him. Matchups where they can find baskets. That's one. The Kevin Edwards and Craig Hodges matchup is also one that they can take advantage of. But Hodges is gone, and his airness is back. As is Bill Cartwright. Third foul on Scott Williams. He goes to the bench. Well, Bill Jackson's uh, punching all the right buttons. That's what he needs to do. He needs to bring in the veteran Bill Cartwright to play Ronnie Cycli inside. He needs to get Greg Hodges off the floor defensively, and he needs a superstar in the game. Heat by two. Levingston tied up by Cycli. That caused the steal for Coles. He's fouled at half court. I'm not sure whether Kevin Lockery is going to these traps because he wanted to get higher energy levels out of his team or he wanted to maybe just see if he could force the issue from the standpoint of not letting Chicago do exactly what they want to do. It takes them out of the triangles. They've just got to react to the traps. That time they didn't react very well. Check this, Scotty Pippen with four personal fouls. I don't think it's a major problem right now. 8.48 to go in the game. Heats up by two if you're Phil Jackson. Of course, he's concerned at any time. Levingston's going to the bench as Grant comes back in. When you start looking up there, Phil Jackson, does he start saying, wait a minute, these guys are hanging around a long time. Oh, I tonight. think Phil Jackson, in all honesty, Bob, felt that way from the start of the game right to this very moment. No coach stands on that sideline and, and looks at another team hanging with his team, the defending champions, as long as they have and as proudly as this Miami Heat team has done and not be worried about it. Good ball movement, Jordan. Back in the game. Drew Edwards away, takes it to the line, and is fouled by Cycli, who just picked up his fourth foul. Oh, they got caught in the, in the trap, and they tried to rotate out of the trap. There's the trap. Now they got to rotate back and match up. You see Long trying to go, on, go over there and match up, but then Jordan just easily, easily got himself to the basket, left Kevin Edwards just standing there. Jordan 10 of 12 from the free throw line tonight. 
Bulls down by two, 8.30 to go in the game. Right now on the other end, the Miami Heat's got to come back. Show some patience. They've got to handle this down for pressure first. Michael Jordan has 40 for zero points with 8.22 to go in the game. He, he wants a steal. I can just out. feel it, Bob. And if that's Pippen, it'll be five. It looked like he signaled 33. Let's hold it for a second. Ah, they're giving it to Cartwright, number 24. Looks like the 33 went up, and that would have been big. Well, it's amazing. You can say casually, well, he's got four, and there's eight minutes and change left, and it's not a problem. Just as quickly, if he picks up the fifth with eight minutes and change, it's a major problem if it's Scotty Pippen or if it's a Michael Jordan. Now, Pippen looks very relieved at the line, and Cycli's been there a lot tonight. He is 11 of 13 from the line. This is one of the things that Kevin Lockery wanted to do was get to the line more tonight, and they have done just yeah, that. Done a great job. I think his game preparation for this game, along with the you know, psychological preparation, has just been excellent. Edwards hit the floor, uh, make it cold very hard, but he's all right. Two-point heat lead. Bring the help. They're going to need help here. He brought the help. That was long. Jordan had to give it up, but who did he give it up to? Scotty Pippen, who has a cool 27. Uh, it's the greatest one-two punch in, in all of basketball. And that includes the playground. <laughs> Which really includes a lot. Tied at 91. Coles, nice job dribbling. Gets it to Rice. Steps in over the triple team. In and out. Sightly! Freddie Sightly with authority! Hello! 20 points from Cycling. This crowd starting to think they might have another game in Miami. DJ Armstrong from the corner. That's a three. That will calm them down a bit. The Bulls have to lead by one. Well, BJ Armstrong is their best three-point shooter. Bulls, not a good three-point shooting team. But B.J. Armstrong right around 40%. Very deadly from there. And that's the short three, the cupcake three. A short 22 feet. Almost stolen by Pippen. Rice steps up. Pippen blocked that shot from behind. Made a nice second effort. Oh, mercy. 42 for Michael. Yeah, Kevin wants to, wants to talk to the troops. You just can't let him wave through there uncontested. It's not a good sign if he's not played at all. Not only should he be played, he should get a whole bunch of white shirts around him, or you're going to be looking at that. And for the Dutch boy in the paint, Chicago out-rebounding Miami 38-33, but that's closer than the games have been previously. And Ronnie cycli has been tough tonight. 12 rebounds, 20 points, 5 blocked shots. He has been a man in the middle. Let's talk about the team foul situation with 6.43 to go. The Bulls already in the penalty. The Heat only two. Well, you know, I talked earlier about the fact that in the fourth quarter, you'd like to get your team on the bonus as early as you can. The Miami Heat had an opportunity when they had the Craig Hodges, Kevin Edwards matchup to maybe get a couple of fouls by running a couple of isolations there. Now, I'm not saying they'd be in the bonus right now, but maybe they'd be one away from it. You certainly would like to have all of your fouls at this point in the game be tripped to the free throw line. And Phoenix out by 11 now in the third quarter, hoping to eliminate San Antonio tonight. There's that Bulls pressure defense. Cycling with Ella Holes. What a struggle just to get it across the timeline. 12 on the shot clock, haven't made an entry pass. Now eight. Holes on the drive all the way, and the foul. Who would have figured the open lane to the hoop against the Chicago Bulls? Well, quite honestly, on the weak side, Chicago just fell asleep. Bimbo Coles, nice little hesitation there, but no help side. Horace Grant stood and watched, so did Bill Cartwright. Michael Jordan picked up his second person and Bimbo Coles, who, as I told you earlier in the game, practiced earlier this morning with a 100-degree temperature and has a very sore throat, but he's played big here tonight. And Bimbo Coles, one of the hardest-working members of the Miami Heat roster. 
showed that he's got a little something extra right now. 9-6-25 from the field in the playoffs. 9 at 96, six minutes to go in the game. Armstrong open. That was an excellent defensive run there. Head on the Kevin back to Edwards. Kevin Edwards. Kevin Edwards leaped up with that leaping ability and caused B.J. Armstrong to rush the shot, causing it to go off the back of the iron. Cycling. Misses down inside. Power moves into the paint. He has 20 points tonight, but not this time. Tied at 96. Jordan in the paint. The turnaround spin move. Oh, mercy. He has 44. Well, Kevin Edwards turned his head after he went up and got into the chest of Michael Jordan. And Michael Jordan slipped by, and he was wide open in the lane. Chicago by two. Jordan with the steal. Pippen. Michael Jordan just has wonderful anticipation. He, what he does, Bob, is he lays back and he shows you a distance. And you look and you say, he couldn't make up that distance. I can make that pass. And then he closes the gap in an extraordinary fashion, almost getting steals at will. We have a timeout on the floor. The Bulls now lead it by four. And Michael Jordan has been patrolling the defensive lanes all night long. Michael Jordan's able to make the steal. What he does is he shows I'm inside guarding the post. I, and he gives it a distance for Bimbo Coles to throw the ball inside to Glenn Rice. And Coles thinks I can make that pass easily. No human being can make up that distance. Not. Bulls by four. 4.54 to go in the ball game. Defenses stand as needed by Miami. Eight to shoot. Jordan, 44 points in the game. Four, three. With two to go, Jordan goes to the line. That's the third team foul on Miami. Coming up right after this one, the Portland Trail Blazers hoping to close out the Los Angeles Lakers. And let's look at San Antonio and Phoenix tonight. Phoenix also trying to advance in the second round. And uh, it's a reasonably close game. Seven point lead in the third quarter. That prediction looks pretty bad right now. You got a difficult choice, Bob, when, when Michael Jordan has the ball with the shot clock running down. You, 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 you can square up on him, and you know you're susceptible to the drive. You back off of him, he's hot from the perimeter. The only other choice you got is to send someone else and make another bull player take the shot. I think the Miami Heat waited too long. 46 points for Jordan. 4.32 in the game, and the foul on Chicago with the pressure. The Bulls on a 6 nothing run. Anytime a team presses you, you want to punish them for pressing you. Best way to punish them is to get the ball into the hands of your best ball handler, get a, like, get a little water bug, or get your best player out there with the ball, break through the defense and break them down, and take little short shots at the other end. Little rhythm jumpers, finishing layups, Try to get out numbers at the other end if you can. But if you're going to just walk the ball up, play patty cake with it, you're you're at best going to be looking at a 14 uh, uh, number on the shot clock. Not good. Big free throw miss here for Grant as the Bulls have taken a six-point lead. The Miami Heat led this game by 17 in the first half. You've noticed that for most of the ball game, Cycli and Long have to play many minutes. They just don't have any depth that they can count on, count on up front. But give them some credit. They're playing full, full court pressure, trying to make some things happen, trying to maybe have someone else shoot the ball, but it's not working. This is too smart a basketball team. The next two-point field goal for Michael Jordan will give him 50. Goes by seven. Shaw on the drive. Good ball fake and the reverse. I think Brian Shaw, you know, before it's all said and done, is going to be a welcome addition to the Miami Heat roster. Jordan with the double team inside the cart right all alone. 
Grant sticks it back. Cycle gets his miss. Well, not bad. A nice early double team saying, hey, we want someone else to shoot it. Glenn Rice. That's a two. And it's a three-point game with 3.34 to go. The Heat. Not out of it yet. Chicago turnover. Well, that was a tough choice for Scotty Pippen. He threw that long diagonal cross quarter to Horace Grant. Too high. Really should have put the ball in the hands of B.J. Armstrong. Tried to break down the, you know, the press. The middle is wide open on the Miami press. Steal by Grant. Pippen to Armstrong. And he'll go to the line as Shaw fouled it. This, by the way, is the first time the Miami Heat has ever scored over 100 points against Chicago. Well, we talked about hustle points. We talked about offensive rebounds. And how about deflections and steals? Now it's just a matter of making a good choice at the other end. Yes, Michael Jordan. Double yes. Loves to see his teammates involved. Has a luncheon appointment in Chicago tomorrow. Doesn't want to stay over if he can avoid it. Heat trying to make him miss that appointment. Bulls by six. 3-11 to go in the game. Cycling sees that it's open. And crosses the line himself. Smith. Cycling knocked it loose. Long down hard. He'll go to the line. That's on Cartwright. Pretty quick shot by Steve Smith. A lot of time left in the ball game. No, no need to get too excited here. He didn't really have a good long look at it. No, no really, uh, uh, not really a good opportunity for any offensive rebounds on that box. I think he got just a little excited there. Cartwright just got his fifth foul with three minutes to go in the game. Right after this one, out to Los Angeles, Trailblazers and the Lakers. And Long has hurt this team from the free throw line. I guess he just exhausted it. We saw the other night I did the uh, Boston-Indianapolis game, Indiana game, and Boston and Indiana missed 31 free throws, and they're the first and third best free throw shooting teams in the league, and Miami is right up there. They're tied for third they're in the tied league. tied for third with Indiana, but, you know, it's a, it's a strange, strange game that you play when you get into the playoffs. There's a little thing called Ms. Rudolph's monkey paw, and that puts a lot of pressure on you. Bulls by five. Pippen's pushed and misses the layup. That is the... He was in the act of shooting, but the Heat are now over the limit. Fourth quarter, San Antonio Phoenix by seven. And Cycli now has five personal fouls. Scotty Pippen with 29, make it 30 points tonight. Michael Jordan with 48. I add that up to 78 points between the two. Well, see, what you don't realize with this team is because they're so workmanlike. They, 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 they do things in, in a calculated fashion. They are very, very precision-like in what they do. They are very unemotional. They're not a lot of uh, French pastry on the things that they do. They play great defense. They create extra opportunities, extra possessions, and eventually it wears you down. Just like that. Now 11 seconds on the shot clock for Miami. 2.38 to go in the game, and the Heat having trouble getting any kind of look at the basket at all. If I were to say one thing to this Miami Heat team, as we see Glenn Rice... That's a pretty good look. ...find himself wide open for a nice, easy, easy dunk. It's only a five-point lead with 2.32 to go, but the world champion Bulls have defended a lot of five-point leads in two and a half minutes. I started to say if I was going to say something to the Miami Heat, you know, you've had a great year, you've learned a lot of lessons, but understand this, if you ever want to sniff at an NBA championship, it's got to be done defensively. Rice got a monster pick. He was just knocked loose by Grant. Big offensive board by Pippen. New shot clock for the Bulls, up by five. And there's that wonderful leadership from Michael Jordan. Dang, let's eat some time up. And 
and I'll get the bucket in the paint. And I'll make it half a hundred. Or as we used to say on the playground, half a rock. Half a rock for Michael tonight. 111-104, 153 remaining in the game. Miami Heat came in here tonight for their first playoff game in their team's history. They believed they could win, and for three quarters, everybody in this building believed they could win. Six on the shot clock in the foul. Oh, There's the wonderful leadership of Michael Jordan telling his team what to do. Let's eat up a little clock here. Let's make sure we get a really good basket. And you know what, guys? I'll do it. Hello. You know, with the three-point shooting ability of this Miami Heat team, I'm not going to be the one to say it's over yet. Only seven points down, 141 remaining. Well, I look for I look for Kevin Lockery to take this game out, to use his timeout, to set up his, his three-point uh, shot plays. He's got good three-point shooters. Maybe play a little offense, defense. Do anything you can to take the game out. Try to stay in the game. Give yourself a chance to win down the stretch. Cycle has made it a five-point game with a minute 41 right to go. Right now, it's Joe It's all about stops. They need a stop. There's the trap. Got there very late. So you want someone else to shoot the ball. Pippen, you don't want this guy to shoot it, and you don't want Michael to shoot it. Six on the shot clock. Michael's going to shoot it. And drain it. 52. For Michael. Michael Jordan. 119 to go. Moved by seven. Rice from 15 has a double clutch. Rice gets it back and gets the bounce. Still five-point game. Minute six remaining. Chicago with three timeouts at a 20, and Miami with only their three fulls remaining. Major stop for the for the Miami Heat. There Loose it ball is. Foul Chicago. There it is. Major stop. Oh my. Full foul for 33. Scotty. You're going to be begging us to stop Loose here if the Lakers can put up some kind of heroic battle against the Blazers. Blazers up two nothing in that series. That's right after this one. We go out to the West Coast. Keep Ben Weirin. Evie Brown have the game for you. And Long, who has struggled from the free throw line tonight, he's only two of four there. I mean, right now, Kevin Lockery's got to be thinking, do I want to be in this trap? They've been, the, the Bulls have been able to handle the trap. Uh, Long has been devastating on the free throw line. Uh, it it would have been a situation where if he'd have made his free throws, we might be looking at a small Miami Heat lead right now. But when they get to the other end, it's, got, it's, it's crucial to make someone else shoot the ball. Not Pippen, not Jordan. Bulls by four, 47 seconds. Armstrong and Grant had a two on three. Armstrong now used some time and a quick whistle and the foul on Grant Long. That's his fourth. Long is simply exhausted. You had two, maybe three possessions left, Bob, and and that's kind of an early foul there for such a good free throw shooter. He's almost a 90% free throw shooter. Uh, maybe maybe they'll throw the ball away. Maybe uh, maybe they'll miss a shot. Now you come down, score, hit a two or a three. You have a two or a, or a one point game. Instead, you're going to be looking at a, a bigger deficit. Well, the Miami Heat. 40.9 seconds away from seeing their first trip to the playoffs end. Michael with a chat with Glenn Rice here saying this is how it goes in the playoffs. One day. Michael and Glenn Rice are, <laughs> are bumping each other and Michael sneaked in to the line. Well he really set up Steve Smith. He got in that little bumping match with him and got the inside position for that famous dive to the free throw line by Michael Jordan. Watch the veteran Michael Jordan set up the rookie, Steve Smith. He's talking to him, chatting with him, making him forget about what his defensive assignment is. Now he says to the ref, all of this is a con job because what Michael wants to do is take that free pass to the free to the basket in case the free throw is missed. <laughs> That's unbelievable. All, all the way to the end, he's working every single edge that he can get. 
115-109 Bulls. 40.9 seconds remaining in this ball game. Will the Miami Heat step ahead of the other expansion teams, Orlando, Charlotte, and Minnesota now, with their first trip to the playoff games? And Lockery said, of course, we wanted to get a playoff victory, but even being in the playoffs is certainly worth not getting in the lottery. He thought it was very important for this franchise. I totally agree with him. There's, there's nothing like the playoffs. They say there's two great times to coach in the NBA, playoffs and training games. Glenn Rice looking for the three. That's a two. He stepped on the line. What a beautiful stroke. Challenge, but uh-oh. Cover the backcourt. Everyone stood around celebrating. Jordan has 54. Lockery gets timeout with 16 seconds left. Bulls by six. Ronnie Cycli. Ronnie Cycli's uh, natural proclivity is to go to the boards. He's going to go to the boards. No one is going to cover the backboard. Everyone goes to the boards. The basket goes in. Not a kind of standing around celebrating. But uh-oh, what about Michael Jordan? Look at him all by himself. He looked like the lonesome end in football. Paid the price. Michael Jordan, 54 points, five rebounds, five assists, four steals. He had only two points in the first quarter and then some great balance. This crowd with a round of enthusiastic appreciation applause for the expansion Miami Heat. Well, I'll say this. The NBA is alive and well and healthy in Miami. And it. it's a three-point game with 11.4 to go. They may have more than appreciation applause here with a turnover. The foul on Jordan from Long. <laughs> with 9.5 to go. Now Steve Smith is chatting with Michael. See, that's what we talk about when we talk when we talk about finishing a game, taking it out. You want to always try to take it all the way out right to the last second because what you do is you prepare yourself for games that you're going to pull out on occasion because you never quit. I really like the way the Miami Heat is hung in there. This crowd is so proud of this team right now. But the Chicago Bulls, that's a killer instinct. Michael Jordan has made his last 12 free throws in this game, and he's 15 of 17 from the line. 55 points. I was in Cleveland when Michael Jordan scored his career high 69 last year. Well, I'll be honest with you, Bob. I mean, it's been a quiet 55. I think <laughs> I really mean that. It's been a very quiet 55. I got to remember that. <laughs> a quiet 55. Only Michael Jordan. Reminds me of that. I can't drive 55, and how'd you get 55? Well, it's about everything you can expect except a victory. And what this franchise will learn is after a couple of years, close won't be enough. Well, I think they got to be very proud of, of what they did today. Most people didn't expect this. 119-114, 9.5 seconds remaining in the game. The Miami Heat, when they started their franchise, decided to build through the draft. 8.6 left no, no. instead of trading draft choices to get some veteran players and win more early. Charlotte went that way. Miami went with the draft, and they are the first team. Well, you know, you pay the price on the front end, or you play it on the back end, and they decided to pay it on the front end. They went 0 for 17 in their first 17 games. That was a tough thing. Grant Long threw up the prayer, and the Miami Heat's first trip to the playoffs. Give them a lot of credit, Bob. They hung in there. They gave us a basketball game. Bulls win it by five behind a quiet 56 from Jordan. The Chicago Bulls have eliminated the Miami Heat. The defending world champions win it in three, 119-114 here in Miami. Our player of the game, well, this was a tough call. Michael Jordan with a, as Dick Versace said, a quiet 56 points, five rebounds, five assists, four steals, 20 of 30 from the field, and a nice conversation with the rookie Steve Smith. <laughs> We're going to have a conversation coming up in a few minutes with Michael. The Blazers and the Lakers are next. From Miami, for Dick Versace, this is Bob Neal. So long.